to our channel Roam with Romy and um, today's video was inspired by one of my closest and dearest friends who asked a really good question and I thought that it'd be a really good topic to make a video about. So basically she was asking me how did I know Dom was the one? And the reason she asked me that is because um, in a previous video that I did, I gave five dating habits that got me a husband. I mentioned that Dom and I got married within six months of dating. And I'm sure that that probably caught some of you by surprise because we got engaged in such a short amount of time. So Honey, like, I'm doing a video about what made me want to marry you. <laughs> I just want to ask you to get your opinion about what quality were you looking what qualities were you looking for in a woman? Uh, royalty first. Mm -hmm. I I always believe by myself that is most important thing in the family, royalty. So I always wants to get married with a woman who has a court the royalty and i think that you have yes and another thing mm -hmm. what can you do? <laughs> me personally and probably another guys too we love active girl active that means always talk People say too much talk is too much and too loud and it's stressful but to guys actually we are looking for the woman who can talk all the time to the man and take care of the, fa the family especially the man as a husband and uh, how I can say that we, we, me, mm -hmm. and guys always want to find the girl who like a mama. <laughs> oh, you want somebody like your mom. I know, you told me that from the beginning. <laughs> mama, yeah. Always accept what I'm gonna do. And never argument at all. And You're gonna cause a problem in the <laughs> The comments are gonna go crazy, honey. But I want honesty, so I'm yeah, glad that you're being honest. Between the guys, we also we also always say that things that mama is only one person, so you can't meet the that girl. But mm -hmm. probably you can try to meet girl, meet that girl very close, like a mom. Mm. So did I give you those mom qualities? <laughs> no. I'm gonna go to the gym. Right now. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry about my English. I can't express the, my feeling and on the English sentence. That's okay. I don't know. I don't know how to m express more generally, more more detailly. I'm serious. We really love like a woman, like a mama. But do you mean like mom? Like okay, because I want to make sure that everyone understands. You don't mean like exactly like your mom. You mean someone who's just gonna take care of you and. Take, I'm not talking about visually like my mom. I, I, no, <laughs> no, I know, not. but that's what I'm saying. Like you want someone who's gonna take care of you, like who's gonna, you know, make sure you're okay. My point is that I'm gonna add the one more sentence. No matter what, I'm gonna do. Oh, you just okay, okay. <laughs> that, so you mean unconditional love, like a mom? Yes. Yeah, basically somebody who's going to accept you. How that's you why are. it's impossible to meet the girl. <laughs> I'm not I, I'm not that girl. But you are very close. Yeah, I you know that's one thing I will say is that um I don't like Yeah, basically you never you never bother what I'm mm -mm. gonna do. No, I don't. I, I really believe that you have to let people be who they are. I really don't like um over I don't I hate over possessive people and I don't like when people try to like tell me like how can i say it? i don't like it when someone tries to control me i really don't like that and i always give people their freedom because i feel like that is who you are like you deserve your own freedom you deserve to be trusted you deserve to live your life i don't have time to watch over someone and call them all the time and text them like where are you doing why are you at the gym who are you talking to i don't have time for that i got my own life to live you feel me so 
Yeah, I do that's give you a why, lot of freedom. That's why I get married with you. Thank you, honey. I really appreciate you answering the question and giving your perspective. I'm gonna so. say again, my English skill is not that great. Y'all, please encourage him below because I've been trying to get him to do videos with me, talking videos, but he's always worried about his English. So please send him some love down in the comment section and tell him that oh. he speaks well, okay? And you guys like his advice. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> let's get back to the video now now i'm gonna get into the reasons why i decided that dom was the one for me how i was able to decide that dom was the one for me and to vet him properly aside from praying and from asking god if dom was the one i also made a lot of um, vetting observations and i also made my own investigation to make sure that this is the person that i want to be with for the rest of my life because you got to remember like this is a marriage this wasn't something that i wasn't going into seriously like i was extremely serious about this like you know my parents have been married for a long time his parents have been married for a long time so we wanted to make sure that this was something that would be long term and also i waited so long to get married so it made no sense for me to just pick anybody at this point in the game i had to make sure that he was the one for me so how i was able to do that was one i observed his patterns and behavior so I observe his past patterns and I observe his present and future. So I asked him a lot about his past. I asked him a lot about why his relationships didn't work out. I asked him a lot about what his accountability was in those relationships. And those things matter because if you're dating someone who's always the victim or who never takes accountability, that's a huge red flag for me because how can you be the only one always being the victim in a relationship? And by that, I don't mean abuse and all of those things. Those things are separate. But I'm talking about in general, when a relationship ends, it takes two people, right? So it's not only one person's fault. Like if someone's always saying, oh, like it wasn't my fault, it's that person's fault in every relationship they've had, that's a huge red flag. So he was very accountable in the things that he did and what he did wrong and what he could have done to fix in his relationships. And actually, we had spoken about that from like the beginning when we first started dating, like we talked about our past and maybe some mistakes that we made and how we were held accountable for some things that we did and how we could have done things differently. It's definitely a healthy way to approach things. Like you can't always blame everyone for your issues. There's no way that that's accurate. Like it, reality does not work like that. If someone's always blaming other people for their mishaps or their misfortunes, then there's something wrong because it can't only be that person's fault there's always two sides of the story his hers and the truth right so we talked about that we talked about his past we talked about different things and i noticed his pattern so then from his past relationships i was able to draw a pattern and see okay he's been in committed relationships all of his relationships have lasted like at least four to five years so he wasn't no like dater he wasn't a serial dater he didn't date around a lot he wasn't somebody who dated different girls. He wasn't like that. All of his relationships were very long term. He was actually engaged to one of his ex-girlfriends, but again, it didn't work out. Lucky for me. But it showed that he was stable and he was a commitment type of guy. He was committed to his relationships. Also, Dom is very disciplined. I've noticed throughout his whole life, he's always had a plan. He's always had a purpose of action and he's always achieved what he's set out to do. Even if he failed, I wouldn't have judged him on that because the fact that he even tried is what matters. The fact that he always had something going on, the fact that he took a lot of risks, the fact that he tried to make better situations for himself. And he also takes very good care of himself. That's something that I was also looking for. I didn't want somebody who didn't care about themselves, who didn't care about their life, who didn't care about what was going on. Because I feel like the more importance you put into yourself and importance you put into your well-being and what you got going on in your goals, etc., the more it attracts other people. You are who you attract. You have to be the type of person that you want to attract. So he was definitely a mirror of me in that sense because we both were trying hard to make ourselves better, to improve ourselves. Another thing that was very important to me was his family dynamics to see how he interacted with his parents. That's very important, y'all. So if a man is disrespectful to his mom, if he does not have a good relationship with his parents, that is definitely a red flag. And you have to dig into that further to see if it's 
warranted. So again, if it's, if his parents were abusive and it was that type of situation, then you could understand why. But if he had regular parents, his parents treated him well and he had a good upbringing and he's disrespectful or if he doesn't respect his mom, he doesn't respect his dad, he doesn't have a close relationship with them for whatever reason, that was something that I didn't want because I'm very close to my parents. I have a very good relationship with my parents and parents aren't perfect. Don't get me wrong. Like, of course, me and my parents, like we had arguments in the past and of course we only... You know, sometimes you're close to your parents, sometimes you're mad at your parents. It happens, but I'm talking about overall, like, can he have conversations with his parents without getting mad? Like, dang, like, I don't want to talk to my parents, like, or disrespecting his mom or, you know, talking mad stuff about, you know, just saying bad things or having a toxic relationship with his parents. There has to be a reason and it has to be a good reason. And if it's not a good reason, then that's definitely a big red flag. And fortunately... Dom has a very close relationship with his parents. His parents love him. He loves his parents and they talk all the time. And I love that. Healthy family relationships are very important because then that person, whatever environment they grew up in, that's going to determine or be a factor in the dynamic that you will have with your children. You see where I'm coming from with that? So whatever happened in their household, that will affect you and your children in the future. So I didn't want a man who had dysfunction. Like I wasn't into the whole dysfunctional family dynamic. Unfortunately, I know some families are like that. And if your family is like that, I'm not holding it against you. I don't want anyone to take what I'm saying the wrong way. But if you come from a dysfunctional family, you gotta fix that because, or you have to find a way to make sure that whoever you're marrying can understand why it's dysfunctional and they have to understand that you are not dysfunctional like that because it is a very scary thing when someone grows up in dysfunction and then they raise children who are further raised in dysfunction and it just creates a cycle and cycle and cycle and cycle and i really don't want that for my children i want our children to grow up in a healthy environment i want our children to be able to communicate i wanted our children to not have have dysfunction there's already so much dysfunction in the world another reason why I chose to be Dom's wife is because his actions always match his words. That's so important, y'all. Like, I can't stress that enough. For all my ladies out there, especially my younger ladies, actions and words matter. A man could say whatever he wants. He could say he loves you. He could say you're his wife. He could say, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. He can say anything but if their actions don't align with the words then more often than not they're not about what they're saying they don't believe in what they're saying it's just words to them anyone can say anything so i want to stress that because this is one of the things that can determine your future relationships and for dom he was a man of his word and his actions matched. So when he asked me to be his girlfriend, he meant it. He treated me with respect. He took me out on dates. He called me all the time. He messages me every single day. And he would message me all the time, make sure that I was well fed, make sure, oh, you know, did you eat well? What, what did you do today? Are you okay? Is there anything I can do to help you? And I adapted to that quickly because I wasn't used to a man showing me in those ways that he cared about me. I always felt like a priority. I never felt like I took a backseat to anything that he did in life. He said that I was his priority and he meant it and he showed me in his actions. It just solidified our relationship because our actions matched our words and it was easy for us to see and spend time with each other and by spending more time with a person you get to really see them for who they are and i know that some people can trick you and i know there have been situations where people say oh he turned into something different let me be real with y'all real quick you always see red flags whether you see it or not it's there and i feel like people do have warning signs they just choose to overlook them i'm sorry not sorry i know some people are gonna probably be like no it's not like that but no nah, it, it is like that there are always subtle warning signs or little things that you can see that's not right but some people choose to overlook them 
and then then they get into a situation that they don't want to be in and then it becomes like oh my god i never knew that he did that or whatever but usually you can tell those kind of things like it has to be an extreme case where you can't see the red flags in my opinion but this video is not about that the point is that his actions match his words and i was able to believe him and believe in what he was saying because he lived that life he was about it he was about that like he really was like that another reason why i said yes to dom is because he motivated me he made my life better he improved my life he he upgraded me i upgraded him we both upgrade each other yeah sometimes you know when i feel down or when i don't feel like putting my best like giving my best he's always pushing me too and he's made me a better wife 100 percent. and he's also made me a better person because he's very honest and we're both very honest with each other and we always want the other person to improve and where i lack he is strong in and where where he lacks i'm strong in so we kind of fit together in that way and we make each other better we both add value to each other's lives and it just makes it easier for us to grow as a couple and to achieve goals that we have as a couple unfortunately when you have a partner who is not supportive when you have a partner who's always negative when you have a partner who speaks just ill and just always has like bad things to say or or it's not even about bad things it's like when you have a partner who doesn't try their best who doesn't do this who doesn't motivate you it just becomes harder to live your life with them and i'm very very blessed in that way because that was one of the characteristics that i was looking for in dom and i didn't want to settle for that because i'm the type of person like i like to get things done too maybe a little slowly i ain't gonna lie i'm a little more carefree and slower than normal people however I do have goals, I do have achievements, I do have things that I like to do. I like to work hard for them and I want my life to be better. I want the lives of our children to be better and I want us to have things that we can be proud of in the future and to have a legacy. The person that you choose to spend your life with should be someone who is going to motivate you and encourage you and support you. Well, that's something that I looked for and I got with Dom and it was easy for me to say yes. Yes to the brain, y'all. Yes to the brain. Yes, 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 yes. I do. I do. I do. I do. Why are we wasting time? Why are we wasting time? <laughs> we ain't getting no younger. We might as well do this. Let's get married. Meet me at the altar in your white dress. That's 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 where my mind was at. So, anyways, that's it, y'all. So. That's pretty much it. That's it. There was no secret formula. There was no Krabby Patty recipe. It was basically just me just observing him and seeing who he was. And I know some people will say six months is such a short time. It really isn't, y'all. It is not a short time to get to know someone. Um, I feel like it really depends on your mindset. If you're ready and you know you're ready and that person's ready, then why not do it? Like what's holding you back? There really shouldn't be a hold up. Like people will say, oh, it takes two years. It takes one year. It takes five years. There's really no secret formula. You can date someone for a long time, get to know them for a long time, and it still never works out. You can date someone for a short time and it works out. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter at the end of it. It's really about the person's character. It's about the person's integrity. It's about their values. It's about how that aligns with you and what y'all can do in the future for your legacy. That's it. On that note, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, take care of yourselves and...